An iconic statue in Escondido just got his Christmas swag back. Vandals and rain kept this muffler man from sporting his Santa suit for years. But 10 News reporter John Horn explains how two historic businesses came together to bring back the tradition. The Jor Muffler shop in the heart of Escondido is filled with classic cars, both inside and out. We do a lot of restoration, customizing, uh, we also fabricate a lot of cars. But owner Nick Manning hasn't completed a tune-up quite like this one. He's the cheapest employee that we have. He doesn't ask for pay raises. He's always on time every day. Manning's talking about the 25-foot tall statue that's at the southwest corner of the lot, the Jor Muffler Man. He stood at that corner for more than 40 years, and up until five years ago, Manning and past owners would dress him up as Santa each holiday season. Not everyone, however, played nice. They would spray paint on it. They would burn the boots and stuff, like to light them on fire. That and its prior fleece suit couldn't handle winter rains. So around 2014, Manning stopped the tradition. He let it go until this year when he teamed up with his friends at Sickles House of Fabrics right across the street. I laid all the all the cloth in the front on the on the floor to lay it out and cut it out. Co-owner Felix Guillen and his staff worked nearly 30 hours building the new outfit, beefing it up. And you can see just how tall it is. I'm barely above Santa's ankles. Now this material is called Sombrella and unlike its fleece predecessor, it can withstand the rain, the heat, and the sun. Guillen says he's touched by the reaction. A senior citizen told him she used to make special trips to see the Santa on the lot when she was a child. It took six people about an hour to put up the suit. They did it the day before Thanksgiving, and it still looks shiny and new, despite all the rain that came. John Horn, 10 News. Yep. Sombrella fabric will last. He's looking good. Jor Muffler opened in the 1930s. Manning is its third owner. He says the material is similar to what's used for outdoor umbrellas and barbecue covers.